and welcome to the next tutorial in electric circuit analysis. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss the problems on three phase systems and the circuits. Before we start solving the numericals, let us see a quick revision of the comparison between the star and the delta connected network. In the star connected network, we will be having the line current is equal to the phase current whereas in the delta connected network we will be having the line current as root 3 times the phase current. The line voltage in the star connected network is root 3 times the phase voltage whereas the line voltage in the delta connection is equal to the phase voltage. If we talk about the total power in the star or delta connected system that remains the same which is calculated as root 3 times the line voltage multiplied with line current multiplied with the power factor. So cos pi represent the power factor of the system. So this is same whether it is a star connected system or it is a delta connected system. Now if there is a balanced system and we need to obtain the per phase power then we need to divide this total power by 3 which we will be getting as B phase into I phase cos phi which is again remains the same both for the single phase system and the three phase system. These phase voltage and the phase current we are obtaining corresponding to the line quantities that are given in the problem. Now if the network is star corrected for a three phase then there are two different possibilities can be obtained one is three wired system and another is four wired system. However, for a delta connected system, if it is a three phase, then only three wire system is possible. The fourth wire is not possible because there is no neutral point available in the delta connected system. In the delta, we don't have the neutral, so only three wires can be taken out. Whereas if there is a star connected, then in addition to three wires, due to the neutral point, we can take the fourth wire also. In the star connected system, the line voltage is leading the phase voltage by 30 degree whereas in the delta connected system, the line current land the phase current by 30 degree. So this is the overview comparison of the star and the delta connected three phase systems. Let us see the first problem. A three phase system with a line voltage of 400 volt is supplying a delta connected load of 1500 watt at a 0 0.8 power factor lagging determine the phase and the line currents and also the phase impedance. So we are seeing that the load is basically delta connected. So load is delta connected which is having the power of 1500 watt. So this power is basically the total power or I can say the three phase power of the load. Power factor is 0 0.8 and the terminal voltage is taken with 400 volt. So the line to over line voltage is basically 400 volt. So in order to get the phase and the line current, first we need to obtain the power per phase as 1500 watt represent the power of the three phase. So we can divide it with three to get the per phase power of 500 watt. Now, we have seen that in the delta connection, the phase voltage is equal to the line voltage and line voltage is given to be 400 volt. So that will be equal. So the power, which is the formula given per phase as V phase I phase cos phi and the power per phase we have obtained 500 watt and the voltage per phase we have obtained 400 volt. So the power factor cos phi is already given as 0 0.8 power factor. It means that we can easily determine what is the value of the phase current. So solving uh, the previous equation, we can obtain that the phase current is equal to 1.56 ampere. Now, since it is a delta connected system, the line voltage will be root 3 times the phase voltage. Phase voltage is 1.56 ampere. It means the line voltage is 2.70 ampere. So the per phase impedance Zb in each of the three phases will be equal and it is a balanced system. 
which can be obtained as per phase voltage by per phase current and we have seen that the per phase voltage is 400 angle zero which is given in the problem and the phase current we have obtained as uh, 2.70 angle 36.9 so uh, this is what the line current we have uh, 2.70 so uh, when we are obtaining the impedance per phase uh, zb then since we are using the line values so the voltages and the current we can use the values of the line quantities we will get the answer so uh, this is what represent the per phase impedance which is equal to 2.56 and 36.9 ohms now same a type of problem in problem number two when the system is star connected how do we solve so here uh, the three phase system the power is given to be 1200 watt and 0 0.8 power factor lagging load is there when it is star connected system we need to determine the line phase and the phase impedance similar to the previous case so here since 1200 watt is the total three phase power the per phase power we are getting as 400 watt and since for a star connected system we know that the line voltage is equal to root three times the phase voltage and we need to determine the phase voltage so we will be dividing the line voltage by root three so the voltage given as 400 volt is the line voltage so we get 231 volt as the phase voltage again uh, the formula for the power per phase is remains the same which is per phase voltage into per phase current multiplied by power factor and in the start connected system we have the line current is equal to phase current so uh, putting the value of the power as 400 and voltage as 231 and power factor as cos phi we will obtain the value of the current which is equal to 2.16 ampere now uh, since the power factor is given to be 0 0.8 it means that the theta which is the phase angle between the voltage and the current is equal to cos inverse of 0.8 which is equal to 36.9 now here the power factor is lagging in nature because we are getting a positive uh, values of the power factor now the impedance which is connected in each of the phases we can obtain by dividing the voltage by the current and the voltage whatever we have got is 231 volt with an angle of 0 and the current what we have got is 2.16 ampere with an angle of minus 36.9 because it is a lagging in nature we can put a negative sign here which gives the impedance to be 106.9 and then 36.9 ohms the third problem uh, where we will be dealing with the power quantities let us say uh, we have a 400 volt three phase 50 hertz power system uh, which is applied across the three terminals of a delta connected so the load is basically delta connected and the resistance and the reactance of the load is given per phase so we can write that the impedance of the load is equal to r plus j time x which is representing the per phase of the load we have to determine the line current and the phase current the active power the reactive power and the apparent power of the circuit so if the load is delta connected it means the phase voltage is equal to line voltage which is equal to 400 volt and the impedance per phase in polar quantity we can represent as 10 angle 53 because j6 plus j8 we can convert to polar form from rectangular form and the current which we are obtaining is the voltage by the impedance the voltage is equal to 400 angle zero zero means the reference and the impedance is 10 angle 53 so which gives to be 40 angle minus 53 ampere as the current so the power factor is uh, given as the cos of the angle between the voltage and the current which is equal to 53 degree so since we have a negative sign here so it is a lagging quantity which is 0.6 lagging now for the delta connected system the line current is equal to root three times the phase current we will be getting 69.28 ampere because the phase current is equal to 40 amps and the power factor cos phi can also be determined by another one method which is the resistance by the net impedance of the system 
so here the resistance and the total impedance is already given so we can obtain the same cos phi and the sin phi value and these values will be required to calculate the values of the power so when we determine the real power or the average power we can say which is equal to root 3 times vn il cos phi this is the total real power this we can also get in the form of 3 v phase i phase cos phi we will get the same answer similar to root 3 vl il cos phi we have to put the substitute the values of the voltage and the current and the power factor we will get 28.8 kilowatt as the real power similarly the reactive power we are obtaining as root 3 vl il sin phi which gives to be 38.4 now note down its unit is, is in kilovolt and we are reactive the real power is in kilowatt and hence the total complex power or the magnitude what we can say is the apparent power is three times v phase i phase or root three times v l i n which gives to be 48 kva so apparent power unit is in kilovolt ampere and now if we represent this on a power triangle then we get the active power that is the base of the right angle triangle 28.8 kilowatt which we are getting the real power and the reactive power is 38.4 kvr and the total apparent power is 48 kva so the apparent power is nothing but under root p square plus q square which is the magnitude of the complex power and it is 48 problem 4 uh, where we are dealing with the three phase four wire supply system has a line voltage of 400 volt and the loads are non-inductive of 16 kilowatt 8 kilowatt and 12 kilowatt which are connected in r y and b phases and the neutral respectively so these are basically connected with respect to neutral so it is the phase uh, system what we are talking about calculate the neutral current which is flowing in the system so obviously the system has to be a uh, star connected system then only the neutral current will flow so here we can see in pictorically what is going to happen uh, when we are connecting so we have a three phase system one is the r phase uh, b phase and the y phase and the power rating of each phases are shown by 16 kilowatt 8 kilowatt and 12 kilowatt so here we have a 16 kilowatt 8 kilowatt and 12 kilowatt which is with respect to the neutral means per phase and the voltages which is given to be 400 volt is basically the line voltage of the system so what is the current which is flowing through the neutral wire so here we can obtain what is the current which is flowing through the newton current now it is a star connected system so obviously the phase voltage will be uh, line voltage by root 3 uh, in a three phase system always the solution has to be obtained per phase basis hence we need to determine the phase quantities whether it is a voltage or whether it is current or power now here the individual voltages of each phases which are uh, separated from each other like if you have r y and b which are separated from each other by 120 degree so each phases will be 120 degree separated now 231 volt is the magnitude which remains the same in each of the phases and there is a phase shifting of 120 degree between r to y y to b and b to r now here uh, the current we have to obtain on each lines of the star connected system or each phases of the star connected system which is i r i y i b and the current we will be getting in terms of the power or the relation with the voltage so we can get that the power in each phase that is 16 kilowatt is mentioned so we are having 16 kilowatt divided by the voltage will give you the total current flowing in the system because the complex power or the apparent power is the product of the voltage into current so the current in each of the phases ir iy and iv we can see that that are also separated with each other by 120 degree with a different magnitude because different load impedances are connected in each of the three phases and the neutral current is nothing but the sum of all the current of each phases ir iy yb 
which is comes to be 26.J75 and the magnitude of the neutral current will be 79.4 amps. So the problem related with neutral current can be solved by finding the current on each of the individual phases and adding together to get the neutral current and this is only for the star connected system because the delta connected system will not have the neutral current. Next problem where the individual three phases will have a resistance of 6 ohms and the reactance of 6 ohms and a 400 volt 50 hertz three phase supply is connected across the load. Calculate the phase voltage, phase current, power factor, power consumed per phase and the total power consumed by the load. So here if we represent that in form of the diagram, we see that each phases of the three phase load are having equal balance loading condition with uh, 6 ohm as the resistance and the 6 ohm as the reactance of the system and it is being supplied from a star connected source so the source is star connected and the load is also star connected which are connected through the r y and v phase so we have to first obtain the phase voltage again the problem uh, starts beginning uh, with determining the phase quantities and the line voltage here we have uh, 400 volt and it is a star connected system so line voltage by root 3 will give you the phase voltage which is equal to 231 volt and the impedance per phase now is 6 plus j6 in each of the individual phases so the current we can obtain as voltage by the impedance the voltage is 231 angle 0, 0 represent the reference quantity which we are taking the voltage divided by the impedance which we have uh, determined per phases which is 27.2 angle minus 45 degree. Now in a standard system the phase current is equal to line current which is equal to 27.2 amps and the power factor which is the angle between the voltage and the current which is 45 degree we will be having a lagging power factor which is equal to 0.7 lagging now power absorbed by each load or each phases will be v phase i phase cos phi so we have calculated the phase voltage phase current and the power factor which give to be 4398 watt now total power consumed by the system we have to multiply it with three times the average power or the real power which we have consumed we have estimated which is equal to 13194 watt next problem a balanced star connected load of 8 plus j6 ohm per phase is connected to a balanced three phase 400 volt supply find the line current power factor power and the total volt ampere total volt ampere means it is what is expected to be determined is the apparent power now here uh, the phase voltage is line voltage by root 3 uh, whenever we have the system to be balanced we usually take it to be a line of uh, the star connected system so that is equal to 231 volt impedance per phase uh, if you see the magnitude it is 10 ohms because 8 plus j6 magnitude will be 10 ohms and hence the phase current will be the division of the voltage by the impedance which is equal to 23.1 amps line current will be equal to the phase current which is equal to 23.1 amps and the power factor we can obtain by cos phi r by z which is equal to 8 by 10 which is equal to 0.8 lagging power factor because the current is lagging the voltage by certain angle which we can obtain it from the value of theta as cos inverse or 0.8 so the total power will be root 3 vl il cos phi gives to be 12800 watt and the total volt ampere that is the apparent power is equal to root 3 VL IN which is comes to be 16 kilo volt ampere. This is the last problem of today's uh, tutorial where we are discussing a three phase star connected load consuming a total of 12 kilowatt at a power factor of 0.8 lagging when connected to a 400 volt three phase 50 hertz power supply. Calculate the values of the resistance and the inductance of the load per phase. So the information of the load resistance and the inductance is not given in the problem and we need to find by calculating it. So the power which is given in the problem 12 kilowatt is the total power which is consumed in the load. So per phase power will be 12 divided by 3 which is equal to 4 kilowatt 
and we know the formula that per phase power is B phase I phase cos phi is equal to 4 kilowatt and the current I phase is unknown to us which uh, we can determine from the previous relationship that is 4 kilowatt divided by V phase cos phi. We'll get 21.6 amps because the phase voltage is equal to 400 by root 3 because the voltage that is given here is the line voltage. The current per phase relationship we know V phase by impedance. So impedance we can obtain as V phase by I phase which is equal to 10 by 7 ohms and the power factor which is given to be 0.8 lagging gives to be cos phi. So sin phi is 0.6 because phi is cos inverse of 0.8 and then we can multiply it with sine. Now the resistance and the reactance we know it from the right angle triangle this is what right angle triangle is this is R this is X and this is Z and here we are having the value of theta. So R is equal to Z cos phi and X is equal to Z sin phi. So that comes to be 8.56 ohms and 6.42 ohms of the values of resistance and the reactance. And from the values of the reactance, we can calculate the impedance or the value of the inductor as we know that the inductive reactance is equal to omega L. So here, what is the value of L? We can obtain because omega is equal to 2 pi F. So inductance we can obtain as 20.4 milli Henry. So last two tutorials which we have discussed on power, the first was one on single phase power and another on three phase power. In three phase power, we have to be uh, just be assured that we are dealing with the line quantities and the phase quantities and the power we are dealing both for three phase and the single phase power. So this system has to be solved considering that it is a balanced system. So per phase basis, we need to deal with the problem. And whenever the system is unbalanced, we can opt for solving the each phases separately and adding up the these. So this completes this tutorial. See you in the next one. Thank you for now.